there's definitely something about the Fuji X100V. Um, this camera just seems to be like everywhere, and I think for good reason. I bought this camera a few months ago and I wasn't expecting myself to buy this camera. Um, I didn't have any digital stills camera for a while. And then I borrowed Molly's X100V um, for a few days and then that turned into a couple of weeks and eventually I bought one myself and I ordered this off of eBay paid more than retail for it because they're just hard to find right now. But after I'd been using Molly's for a while, I really felt like it was worth it because um, it's just kind of the perfect camera to always have with me right now. And after buying it three months ago, it's gone pretty much everywhere with me. Um, I've spilled coffee in it. My shutter button is kind of mushy now. I've dropped it more times than I'd like to admit. My kids have dropped it plenty of times. Uh, it's just, it's a pretty good dad camera. And since we just had our son Forrest on May 23rd, nine pounds, six ounces, just absolutely perfect. Uh, this is the only camera I brought with me to the hospital when Forrest was born because it just checks a lot of boxes for me. And uh, that's what I'm gonna share with you today as well as just plenty of pictures and hopefully that will just speak for itself. So thank you all for joining me. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. If you need a website, be sure to go to squarespace.com slash Matt Day. The size and the form factor. Um, once you really use this day in and day out, you really start to appreciate just how small and compact it is. I don't use a lens hood on this one specifically because I want it to be as low profile as possible so I can throw it in a hoodie pocket or a jacket pocket. Um, this thing just, it goes everywhere because it's so compact. Also because of how compact it is, I comfortably use this as like a point and shoot pretty much 95% of the time, I would say. Uh, very rarely do I actually pull this camera up to my eye, which is odd because I've had the other versions of the X100 before and I've always treated them uh, kind of the same way I would with my M6. You know, in a pinch, I liked that I could look at the back of the LCD screen and, you know, get different angles, but um, I just really just use this thing as like, almost like an iPhone. Um, I turn the display as simple as possible and just leave it in monochrome for the film simulation. I just see and compose everything with this little monochrome window on the back of the camera. And it's just a really fun and different way for me to shoot. And I feel like it's made me shoot in different ways because I don't have to think and, and meter and load film. And when all that matters is just getting the picture like as quick as possible, right when it happens, this is like the ultimate camera for that for me right now, specifically because I can do it all one handed. Um, I was already in the driveway making pictures of Elliot and Nora while holding Forrest in my left hand. And because this is all just point, shoot, autofocus, it's just been a lot of fun and really, really freeing to shoot with when I'm so used to working with like the Pentax 6-7. That's what I've been using just day in and day out for all of the projects I'm shooting. This has just been like total dad freedom mode. Uh, it's a lot of fun. The lens, the image quality, it's all great. You've got USB-C charging. I don't even have a battery charger for the battery that I do have, the one battery that I have for the camera. Um, I just charge it by plugging a USB-C cord into the camera itself like it's a phone. And that's the only time it gets charged, whether I'm in the truck or at home. Um, I just charge it that way and it's just always ready. Built-in ND, built-in flash, leaf shutter lens, uh, there's just a lot to like about the camera. It checks a lot of boxes. I can even hand it off to Elliot and he can shoot a photo with it no problem. He shot this photo of Forrest and I in the driveway the other night. Made dad proud with that composition. Well done, son. Just having a lot of fun with this camera. So if you'd like to see more videos featuring this camera or editing photos from this camera, anything at all, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this video with me. Uh, if you have any questions about the X100V, let me know in the comments. And of course, huge thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and helping me keep this whole thing going. If you need a website, without a doubt, Squarespace is the place to do it. I've been using their service for so long, way before they ever sponsored my YouTube channel because they really are the best option out there. If you're a photographer, obviously you should have a website, a place where you can control where the work is, what goes in front of it. There's no algorithm to control it. Build a website, give your work the home it deserves. And with Squarespace, you have all kinds of different templates to choose from. So no matter what it is you do or what kind of stuff you shoot, there's going to be something there to work for you. 
Not only that, if you want to do more than just show off your work there, you can have a blog, you can have an online store, an email newsletter, literally anything you need to do, Squarespace has all of it built right into their service. As easy as it is, they also have 24-7 award-winning customer service, so if you ever need help or have questions with anything, they are always there to help. If you want to try Squarespace out for yourself, you can do so entirely free at squarespace.com, but when you're ready to get signed up, go to squarespace.com slash mattday. That'll get you 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.